guys, Ronnie. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a get ready with me video. Like this series is gonna be like all my stripper stories and just what's going on recently with me. Just with my packed schedule now, it's just easier to do get ready with me story time videos. So it is three. 45 a.m. on a Saturday and I am gonna do I don't know what's up with this today my hair is all clipped back but it would be but I'm gonna do what was I say I have been getting ready for like the early bird shift and eating my breakfast of bone broth and eggs or I ate one of the eggs so here we go Get ready for the AM shift, my primer. But, like, what made me decide to try the AM shift is like, I don't know, I've heard mixed things at work about, like, oh, it's good money, you should try it out. Like, it really varies. Like, I tried it like two times and it's not bad. Like, I, I do good. I think it's, you just have to have patience. And also, that's when a lot of the night shift girls leave, and there's, like, guys that come in the club, like, the drunk guys, or else, like, the guy, the in-and-out guys, like, they're, they know the type of girl they want, they know the type of dance they want. So, I like to work on six on the dot, be on the floor. But today I'm also going to try to get Starbies, Starbucks, so let's see. Okay, I'm over my thing here. Like, also, like, the AM shift, you can leave any t like time you want feel like it like I think the most you can work is 12 hours but you really definitely have to get a lot of rest if you're gonna work the early bird shift but one of the things I want to talk about is why I got back into dancing, which a lot of you have been asking me. So, so why I got back into dancing. COVID. So I was um at that time I went to school, got my degree, and I was like this is back in like 2022 when I first got my um a job <clears throat> as accountant at a jewelry store in Reno. And like what happened was I worked there for seven months and it just was a mess there. Like everything was unprofessional. Like and it was like one of those credit jeweler places so we can't say no to people. And it was like like my stripper instincts kicked in when I'd be citing the jewelry off people. I'd be thinking to myself we're never going to hear from these people again. Like, and one time we got like a literal homeless lady and we couldn't turn her down. And like, she walked off with like, it was like a $400 piece of jewelry. Like, like there's some limits y'all. Like, don't like, and also 
credit dealers aren't going to make money in Nevada because, like, if people want money, like, no one really cares about credit out here. Like, they care about, like, like, if they need money, they'll just pawn something off. So, after being, like, all the um, false promises of, oh, you're going to be a lead, you're going to be, like, a, uh, manager in training come the first year, like, then they brought back some weird girl, like, to train me, and she just was full of herself, like, I've been with this company forever, like, she had that attitude, like, mm. so I quit, I quit, then I decided to get some call center jobs for quick cash, like, like, that's good money for quick money. But, after being at call, like, the first call center, like, you could make commission, but nobody could explain to me how the commission worked. Like, that's like a red flag. Like, how the hell, you can't explain to me how you get paid so, yeah, I know I make the hourly, but how do I get the commission? Like, no one can explain that. So, then, then I got another call center job, and, and it was like customer service, and uh, so, So, I got the like a customer service call center job, and what happened was all these customers were just being rude, and it's like, um, Miss Ma'am or Mr. Sir, I'm trying to help you. Like, and the training period was only a week. Like, how am I to memorize all this stuff in a week? And the probation period was like three months, which that's pretty good for probation period, but like just made no sense whatsoever for me because it's like, why am I getting treated rudely when I could go back to the club and like make what I make my paycheck in one night? but not like two nights. So I think my breaking period, like my crying period, like the what the fuck am I doing moment was when the Golden Knights won Vegas, the hockey team for the, oh, the Stanley Cup, which is like hockey Super Bowl. like. I was watching all these TikTok videos and Instagrams of girls that made like like my yearly paycheck or like like few months paycheck in one night that one night like my mouth dropped I'm like what am I doing like I used to make that like and now I'm making that like I'm making what I make in a night or two nights, like, in two weeks. Like, it made, the math wasn't mathing. And, like, oh, my, oh, yeah, right here. Yeah, so the math wasn't mathing to me, and, like, I literally, like, thought long and hard that day, and... After being there another week, I was like, I can't do it anymore. Like, why am I get, getting up at like six, like to be at work at six on the dot, 
like and making this little bit of money like I can make that 150 in like less than 10 15 minutes at my at, as a dancer and then that's when the math was mathing like hey if the um what's it called the knights one um oh crap what did i do oh yeah i'm gonna try my eyeliner my cat liner today haven't ha tried it in a while even though i used to claim i was gonna retire today i'm just gonna try it out see what's up but like anyway so like i was doing the math i'm like well, with all these conf like conventions and conferences moving to Vegas and like um, Super Bowl being out there, Formula One, and all these events, like, and like they're trying to hype up Garth Brooks as like the new Vegas residency. Like, I could be making all this bank, like. It'll take, in reality, at a vanilla job, that will take me years to make all that money back. Like, and plus my student loan was coming up soon and I had to act fast. Like, I told my husband, like, I tried the vanilla job. Like, when I first, I even told him when I first got a um, vanilla job paycheck and saw how small it was, I thought that was like, just the signing bonus. I didn't know that was the actual pay. Like, or like, is that the down payment? Like, what's up? Like, I was confused. Like, again, the math wasn't mathing. Uh, let me do this. Like, also, it was to the point where, like, it was cutting into my health. Like, I'd be drinking a lot because I was depressed of how little I was making. And what would hurt me the most is, is like, seeing all these, uh, ready? Yeah. My eyes are all red because I'm not used to getting up this early, so. Yeah, I've been seeing these younger girls like talking about, oh yeah, this is big kid money, 20 an hour, like, honey, 20 an hour, that's like bubblegum and soda pop money where I'm, like, my, my industry, like, and then also, like, being in my industry, like, I was like a well-respected hustler and like then going to like the vanilla world and like being like a regular perk, like just a, another, um, is it like super sharp with this ring? Like, okay, weird. This one, this one's slightly better. Okay. 
know what is up with my ring light today, but yeah, like, it was difficult, like, and best decision I ever made in my life. If I'm going to get back into this industry, I'm going to Vegas where the money's at and didn't regret it, like, I mean, a lot of people thought I was crazy, like, blah 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 like who does that go to move to Vegas to be a stripper like that's how us strippers think like we don't think like regular people like and then come like not that I'm not grateful or anything but like come like when it was also another moment where I was just sad and depressed was the holiday, my first office holiday, and like, I, I got like, for the Secret Santa thing, like a, like, not that, I like, I'm grateful for anything I get, but like, I got like the, um, what's it called, a, one of those bath sets with like the bubble bath and like the bath bombs and everything, and it made me think like, Oh, that's the generic girl gift. Like, you don't know what to get her. Like, oh, I'm the generic girl. Ha, ha, ha. I need a relax. That's why you got me the bath kit. Ha, ha, ha. But, I don't know. It just came off, like, I don't know. Like, just weird to me. Like, oh, I'm the generic girl now. But in an office, that's like a nice gift. Like, oh my God, that's like the best gift you can get. Like, I was confused. I don't know. been a minute since I did this, so. Okay. Plus in Vegas, like, the girls don't age out here. Like, I know women who are dancers and they're like my mom's age and they look fucking amazing like they look like my age in their 30s But yeah, like my husband noticed a difference with me living out here versus Reno. Like I'm happier here because I'm making my money again and I'm the hustler again. Like I'm back, baby. <laughs> but Vegas is a whole different ballpark. In like the 10 years I danced, I never saw anything like this. Which is another video for another time. Okay, this makes me 
bit shortened, but yeah, like I'm just wasn't ready for that. Like I need to cash in while I still can on this. Like a vanilla job, this is what I tell people, like a vanilla job will always be there. Like an office job will always be there. Your degree will always be there, but you got cash in on your looks while you can. Yeah, like, definitely cash in while you can and go big. Go where you think the money is at. But Vegas is definitely not for everyone. Like, it's... Like, again, that'll be a different, uh, a different, um, thing, video. But, yeah, like, it is definitely not for everyone, but... I highly recommend trying new things out. Mm -hmm. Plus it was to the point where like a vanilla job, I was just done with everything. Like, Like, it was just the same old thing every day. Like, why? Like, like a lot of people would, were telling me, oh, you should get therapy after dancing because you're probably all messed up, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, it was the vanilla jobs that actually did all that to me. Like, psychologically, it was never dancing. Like, Like, that was a total, like, misconception. Like, no. I mean, I went to therapy and I was like, why the hell am I here? The, what? Like, why am I here? Like, this th makes no sense. And then, like, I realized, like, it wasn't the, um, it was stripping that made me need therapy. It's vanilla jobs. It's like, I'm not understanding why am I working for so little money and like, why are people treating me like shit when back at, like for free when at the club, if you get treated like shit, like you get paid. Like, the guy pays you, like, like, I don't care how you treat me in club or as long as you're paying me. But yeah, like, I was done. And it's just so nice to be back at my profession, but... <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna finish getting ready and I will see you in the next get ready make.